Bitte doch, bitte doch. Oh mein, yo. Oh, come on. Burn my neck. <laughs> Bye. All right. All right, so boom. Stop saying marriage is hard. Here. I like that. Yeah. Stop saying marriage is hard. Well, why? Well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you for coming to <laughs> Kicking with the Kings. <laughs> what we're trying to get across to you is stop using the blanket statement marriage is hard. Blanket statement. Yeah, Drake. <laughs> Drake. Yeah, the blanket statement. That's like saying. It's like saying ice cream is cold. The ice cream is cold. <laughs> Wait. It's like saying. It's like saying puzzles are puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> Marriage is hard is like saying puzzles are puzzles. Oh no. Stop saying marriage is hard because but it's not fair to the whole marriage. Yeah. So like, I'm putting your therapist hat on. Okay, as well. What about marriage is hard? Like, is the whole thing? Well, let's get married. Mm, that's hard. Or is, mm. or are there things within the marriage that are hard? Mm. Yeah. So I agree. I like that. I like that. And so with that, it sounds like what I hear you saying is get specific. Yeah. So dial in on what exactly are you struggling with? Right. What are, what are you, what are you struggling with? What are you having issues with in your marriage that make it feel like the entire thing is just hard? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I feel like once you get to the root of that, then you can start breaking away. Like, okay, this is the thing. This is the thing. I think that if you lump it together as marriage is hard, then things are just gonna stay in in in, in a real like weird space for you. Like it's it's gonna really not, yeah right. You're not gonna get to the root of whatever that thing is you're struggling with. Yeah, and then, then you're just gonna wake up every morning like miserable like people get you get miserable and you start to think of different scenarios or that i'm sitting here married when i could have been married to this person when right I so the cool. list that comes longer of mm -hmm. the the different things that um seem to be weighing it down mm -hmm. yep and and things that you're miss you may be missing out on because of where you are now mm -hmm. yeah so for example um, imagine teaching a child how to ride a bike, right? Um, imagine you as a child, seven-year-old Gritty, riding a bike. And, you know, your mom, go Gritty, go Gritty. And you're like, mom, it's hard. I don't know how to do this. It's hard. And... In that moment, your mom can go a few ways, right? Mm -hmm. She can say, all right, well, get off the bike then. Right. She can say, let me do it for you. Ooh, okay. Or she can say, well, what about it is hard? What are you struggling with? Mm -hmm. What's hard for you? That's good. Yeah. And then little Gritty, <laughs> you know... <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Gritz King of the Keys. 
little gritty could he probably he may not have the language mm -hmm. to uh, express what exactly he's struggling with and that's the case with a lot of people a mm -hmm. lot of people in their big ages right mm -hmm. a lot of us don't have the language to express what exactly we're struggling with and right. that's why it's so easy to say marriage is hard or right. this is hard right i like that like we don't have the language mm -hmm. we included me included yeah. because a lot of people haven't been married a lot of people only see marriage as what they see on tv or or um some of their family members who may even their, themselves may have not gone about it the way that they would have if they were if they were known mm -hmm. so i think that is really good because when we put it to something that we do right like if you're like me i'm a, I'm a musician right if i musician musician if i was in you know and i've had times when i was younger where i would quit because oh this is hard i can't learn this uh this is in that statement would just give me an excuse remember that time you told me about the thing with the squares and the lights and you didn't touch it for a long time because you were like oh the... <laughs> yeah uh yes the machine pad boom boom tuk -tuk 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 -tuk. yeah and so remember you were saying that you were frustrated um so you had left it alone for a long time mm -hmm. yeah and then realizing later years later like sitting down with it figuring out what was frustrating about it like and it's the lack of patience mm. and that, i think which can translate to you know what we're talking about with, with marriage like if you're not patient or you know if you struggle with patience then like you're not going to sit down and figure out something that doesn't just necessarily pop up as soon as you want to think about it. like what's the issue mm. there it is sometimes you gotta dig so like with that machine once i actually sat down and looked at it it became simpler I still had to learn, but it became simpler and, oh, to get this, I do this. And now I can focus on being better at that. Mm. And so <clears throat> even when you said, you know, having the patience enough to sit down and really figure out, okay, what's going on, what I'm struggling with in this marriage. Mm -hmm. A lot of us can't do that individually right. with our, within ourselves. Right. How do you expect to do it in a marriage with another person right so if you can't sit down with yourself and really do some inward reflecting mm -hmm. on okay well so what do I struggle with most you know not even in marriage but outside of marriage what do I struggle with right. because more likely than not what you struggle with outside of marriage will be a struggle for you within your marriage yeah definitely so when we say stop saying marriage is hard, we're not invalidating anyone who may feel like that. We're not saying that you're- It's not our intention. Yeah, it's not our intention. We're not saying that your experience is valid, but we're, we're just saying challenge it. Challenge why you feel like marriage is hard. And even if you're not thinking about, even if you're not thinking like, oh, the whole thing is hard, but that's just what comes out. This is also the challenge like, okay, why do I say it as a whole thing? So you can break it down and see, okay, this part is hard and let's get to it. Let's fix that. Let's, let's do some work so your view of it can change and will change. Yeah, yeah. Even you saying that, that reminds me of something I posted on my story um, about this topic of stop saying marriage is hard. And um, one of my colleagues, um, She's a therapist also and a friend. Um, and she responded to it in a way where it sounded like she was agreeing with the statement. So I messaged her and I said, well, do you agree with that statement? And pretty much she was saying, you know, <clears throat> I understand where you're coming from. And I also believe that that statement. So she said, well, what happens when there's a multitude of things within a marriage that feel hard so sex life finances religion growth development mm -hmm. what happens when all of these areas feel hard mm. that's, a good, that's a good question and then she said 
waking up and choosing marriage every day can be hard when divorce feels so easy. It's poetic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> of not. As a response, I said, well, if there are multiple things, then say that. So let's start to be honest with ourselves mm. and our spouses, the people around us. And so being honest and specific with yourself about what you're struggling with mm. is the only way to get to the core of what it is, right. of what's really going on. Right. Accepting that challenge of figuring out yourself. Yeah, looking inward. Right. It may feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. and it will it will feel uncomfortable, especially if it's not something you're used to doing. Right. If you're not used to looking inward, it's going to feel painful. It's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to feel cringy. Mm -hmm. um, doing it in a marriage. It, you're not, you're going to shy away from it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, well, something is bothering me. I'm not really sure what it is. I'm not going to say anything. Right. But with marriage, that's part of the marriage. Like, those points, those moments, like, realizing, like, this is the person that I, I if I'm going to spend the rest of my life with and we're building something, this is the person I need to be able to, to, to learn how to sail these things and get these feelings out. Because then it becomes a smoother ride. When you hold things in, like, it's never, I don't know any example of holding things in where it doesn't do some type of damage, no matter how big or small, at some point. Unless it is not fruitful. Right, right, right. So if what you're holding in isn't fruitful, if it's if it's more damaging to say it to your spouse, just say it to God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's more hurtful to say it to your spouse, just say it to God. In those cases, you know, hold it in, hold it back. In those, only in those cases, I think that <clears throat> if it's going to tear your spouse down, mm -hmm. don't say it. Yeah, take it. it, it oh, yes, yes. So if it's going to tear your spouse, that's a good point. Don't say it. But if it's something that. Don't that, say it, pray don't, it. Yeah, don't say Ooh. it. <laughs> okay, I see. I see. <laughs> no, don't say it, pray it. And if it's something that needs to be addressed but you can't figure out how to say it without it coming out horrible like like horribly then yeah you take it to god because then god could help purify how it's supposed to come out help help you see how help you get across the the main part of what you feel like you need to to get across but without the the, the sharpness or whatever will be damaging and it'll also help you to help your spouse to receive it constructively pray that you you can have the the strength to the grace. The, yeah pray that you can have the grace um to either let it go or be patient enough to have god to show you okay this is what the real issue is and this is how you want to say it mm -hmm. and i'm also going to take care of your spouse by putting in them something that may even have them bring it up first like you never know mm -hmm. that has happened a lot of times mm -hmm. In the past almost eight months. All right. I know we talk on the out too, and we don't even marry about, <laughs> about eight months, but at the same time, it doesn't matter because there are marriages who, who may be 15 years deep who... Who aren't able to have conversations like this. Yeah, and don't even know. Some people who may, may they, they may be avoiding it purposely, some people don't even realize. Mm -hmm. So... We don't want you to put the the idea that oh they don't even marry for this long they don't know nah we, right. we we've done some work and we understand there's so much more to do yeah but um this is even for people who are freshly married who are who are about to get married like it doesn't matter the length I think it's not about quantity it's about quality mm, yeah so the quality of the amount of time you put in doesn't um and also the prereqs. So think of, you know, being in college, right? You need prereqs in order to um, fulfill your major, right. right? So what what prereqs do I need to take first before I get into the 
the major classes right. that I need. Yep. And those prereqs for marriage, definitely I, I say, <clears throat> well, premarital counseling together, um, but individual therapy, you know, prereqs even being the work that you're doing within yourself mm -hmm. before you even say I do. Right, right. And so because we fulfill those prereqs and are still fulfilling those prereqs, we didn't completely skip over them. Yeah. I think it has given us more wisdom. You know how people say like, why is beyond your years? Mm. Marriage is hard. It's like a, a, a mindset. If you go into marriage with the mindset that it's hard, then it's gonna be hard. It's gonna feel hard. Yeah, it's almost like waking up in this new week, right? Mm -hmm. And you wake up and maybe you wake up on the wrong side of the bed mm -hmm. and you say, oh, this is gonna be a terrible day. It's gonna be a terrible day. Then yes, exactly, it will be a terrible day because we find the evidence to support whatever belief we okay. have we're going to find that evidence oh heck yeah oh heck yeah yeah it, it reminds me when i used to work at this school i literally every day once it started getting weird i would go in there already with an attitude like oh my goodness they're gonna start wilding they don't treat us right blah 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 and every single day i did that it really was like i was i was exhausted after work i was very exhausted so like and realizing now like wow you easily find the evidence oh, today. Yeah, yeah. So what if you flipped it? Hmm. It's gonna be a great day. Yeah. I think the evidence will still be there. Yeah. So if you say, well, this is gonna be a great day, hmm. that negative evidence may still be there, but you won't be focused on it. It's gonna fly right over your head yeah. because you woke up and you said, this is gonna be a great day. And you're looking for those things that will support that belief. Right. And you gotta do that in marriage. Mm -hmm. Like realizing, you know what I'm saying? Like realizing like, I'm excited to spend time with my wife today. I'm excited to to, to to just chill out with her. I'm excited to, you know what I'm saying? Because then you hype yourself up for good reason too, because it's, it's gonna be a great time. But like you, yeah. now you're looking forward to it. Now you're not dreading it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, dang, I could be out. I could be out with the fellas, man. I'm over here with my wife. Like nah, like right. <laughs> fellas gonna be there. I'm over here with my wife. Like, yeah. What's up? Yeah, so, so changing your mindset around it. <clears throat> yeah. What What are the thoughts that you're having about marriage? Um, what are you saying yeah. to yourself about yourself, about your spouse, about your marriage? Yep. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't mean that you won't have difficult moments because there are difficult oh, moments. Yep. Yeah. But it means that those difficult moments won't hold as much weight. Right. You get married for a reason. You choose this person for a reason. You choose to start your life. Like, literally, once you get married, you start a new life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If that's not your mindset, then, then switch it up, because that's what it is. You're starting a new life. You could have been living with this person prior, but once y'all say I do, it's like, it's like a fresh start to start a new life and start something new, start a new legacy, all these things. So when you say marriage is hard, like, and, and paint it out to be a burden. That's what makes a lot of people look at marriage sideways these days too. Yeah. Especially in our generation where now, you know, we want the stuff, we want the love, we want the good stuff. We, we want, want the, the highlights. Yeah, we want the, we want the highlights, we want the, the, the relationship goals, but we don't necessarily want the stuff that comes with it. Mm -hmm. and, and we don't want to do what it takes. Yeah. And we speaking to you from like definitely point, definitely points in our lives where it was like mm, I'm not really about it, you know what I'm saying? So so now coming to this, we're coming to you from a place of experience in our in our former pre married lives, mm -hmm. um, with the realization that like wow, like marriage is dope. You just gotta put effort into marriage, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You gotta put effort into to your spouse because anything you do. If your mindset is 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 fixed to to the bad things that happen, the awful parts, then that's what it's gonna be for the most part. You know what, what I'm saying? What you focus on magnifies. Yes, what you focus on. Man, what well, wish we had a feature we could just 
Come on, what you focus on, Mac? Give her her flowers. Yes. You know I'm not really a flower girl anyway. Oh, so what? You gonna get them today? You gonna give me flowers? Today. Give me some plants. No sound. Man. Yeah, give her plants. <laughs> <laughs> what you focus on magnifies. So if I'm so focused on every mishap that we're having. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Everything that he does is going to annoy me. Everything that he does is gonna frustrate me. Look, look at the way he look, look at the way he uh You talking about the roast me on look the way he blinked. Like, ugh, I can't stand the way he blinked. Ugh, I could just hear his breathing. <laughs> Everything is going to frustrate me right. because I'm focused on the wrong things. Right. We focus on the right thing. When I when I fix my focus, when I pivot my focus mm -hmm. onto the things that actually matter, onto the things that actually hold substance. Mm -hmm. Like, mm, look at the way she blink. <laughs> look at the way she breathe. Ooh, I like that life in you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah. So all in all, you're gonna hear marriage is hard. You're gonna hear people say it. We're challenging you to not listen to them. We're challenging even them to, to to stop saying it themselves and figure out why. Break it down. What is challenging about it? Because once you tackle the little things, tackling a small thing bit by bit is eventually going to make the bigger things smaller and smaller until it's nothing. Mm -hmm. So if you start tackling things by, by little chunks, you start realizing things become easier a little more manageable less daunting less less daunting right and then understanding that people's experiences are theirs if your uncle and aunt been married for 50 years but it was a trash mm -hmm. 50 years because they didn't do certain work or they just hate each other but it was the times and they stayed together that's their experience let people's experiences be their experiences if they say marriage is hard it doesn't have to be hard for you Right. Because you know that you need to challenge, okay, if they say this is going to be tough, spend the rest of my life with somebody, what can we do now to prepare us? Or how can we go into it knowing, like, it's not going to be the easiest thing, but I love you. We love each other. We want this. Yeah. So It's not going to come naturally. Yeah, it's not going to come naturally. Especially if you're not used to co-creating. Yeah. If you're not used to dying to yourself. Yeah. Yes. It's going to be rough. <laughs> yeah. You have to die to yourself. In, 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 in layman's terms, it's just you can't be selfish. You can't go into a marriage selfish. It's not about you. Yeah. It's, 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 and it's not about your spouse either. Right. It's about God. So you have to like let go of that stuff. Like I noticed for, for myself, there are definitely things pre-marriage and marriage that I had to realize, okay, this is me being selfish. I'm holding on to this issue. This is me being selfish because... What's the point? What fruit is going to come from holding on to this thing? And also self-righteousness, too. Yes, yeah, self-right. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, that was me all day. <laughs> Our experience is going to be different from yours, mm -hmm. but we're only out here showing you what we're learning currently. You know what I'm saying? We're not no, we're not experts. We're just sneak one Steven. Yeah, living yeah. la vida loca. Feel me? Young, black, Christian, married. Off camera. <laughs> but yeah. We're just showing y'all the realness of what we've experienced. So yes, your experience is going to be different from our experience, which is going to be different from our our grandparents' experience. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And allow people to have their own experiences. For the people who tell other people that marriage is hard let your experience be your experience stop telling other people that marriage is hard just because that's what you experience stop telling other people that they're gonna struggle just because you struggled with this one thing oh, yo, yo, chill 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 we ain't trying to fight today i'm gonna have to let her loose shoot but yes no for real that's yes all in all that that that's the message that is the message. Because if marriage is hard for you and it's been hard and you still have life in your in your body right now, 
You could be married for 50 years and it could have been horrible. You have the power to change right, right now. Maybe it's the reason why you're watching this. You have the you have the the, 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 the chance. You can wake up tomorrow and something shift in your marriage. Right. Feel me? Yeah. 